Hey, how are everyone doing out there? This is Coach McFadden, turned about Christian High School. And I'm going to go over something that I know has been asked about. Um, it's using motion to get the tight end open. Um, typically, you, you can run a lot of screens. Screens are great. Um, but you have to be able to get the defense off their platform. And I want to show you how we read it. Um, like I said, do you have any questions? Contact me at coachmcfadden gmail.com and I will be gladly to answer for you. Now, when we run screens, though, we, we do have called screens, but I also have an RPO system. So the quarterback, automatically, when we call one of our screen names, he's going to look to – I even try to color coordinate this real quick. There's a this red triangle right here that would be the safety hybrid backer. If that guy kicks down – to try to stop this, you know, seize the motion. And his reaction is to kick to the motion. That's then we automatically will run the screen. If he decides to sit and hang out, and we got the numbers on this side, because everything's a numbers game, guys. You gotta understand. Like you gotta count. And that's what my quarterbacks and my players are taught to do is count. So right away, we if we get the numbers and that guy didn't shift over, then we're gonna run the screen as follows. Um, tell your lineman to chip. One one hundred, two one hundred, go to second level. The Z, okay, or that's a tight end. However, you it could be an extra tight end, could be a receiver, could be a fullback. However, you want to use this guy. He's he's got a chip. The if it's a four down lineman, which if you're in this type of set, it will be. If they're not, if it's three, then it makes it easier for you. He's gonna chip the end. Don't give him a free release because you need your quarter. Your quarterback's gonna be dropping back on skis if he's decided to go to screen and you want to make sure that he has an extra second and then he's going to go flat for five. Don't go after the defender. The defender's there, but the guy, but what we're hoping to do is that the corner lines up tight and then he can just get pushed out of the play. Now, if he lines out a little wide, then the flat for five means he's going to run straight into him and the tight end can get behind and he can get the free free yards that are waiting for him. So that's kind of how we'd run that one, using the motion out from the play. Now, here's another look I can give you when we run it towards the motion. So we're going to shift the, um, the H back out. Now we're hoping to pull that corner out. Now, if that corner doesn't pull out, then we're just going to run a straight go route, right? But we believe he's going to shift over because that's what been tried and true, what they've always done. Um, begin with the line, you're going to go chip one, 100, 200 release, one, 100, 200 release. Same thing. Go to second level, get in front of a guy, sling it out to the Y. Now you could put the Y as an H back. You can put him over here. You can put him behind you. You can put the H behind you. H here. Nothing really changes. Just their, their destination point stays the same. Just where, where they line up early doesn't right. And the, the call doesn't change, it's the formation change. Less calls, more formations. Coaches, always remember that. If you try to stick in too many plays, we don't have enough time at the high school level, barely have enough time at the college level. If you're a pro team, man, that's your job. A lot of us know we only get so much time. So different formations run the same play out of it. Don't try to outcreate um, out creativity yourself. On the backside X here, we could do anything here. Can have him block, have him run a slant, have him just run a step back screen. This is typically a gift route. Okay. It's a gift. So if this guy, if you get pressed, you can put, then he can go with a quick outside release and quarterbacks just got to catch and throw it up at that point. That means this guy, again, this is our guy. He's telling me what he wants to do. These guys are, if they shift over, Okay, cool. I mean, we're still running the screen because these guys are supposed to go get it anyway. Um, but this right here can be a big difference maker for us if this guy, if we see him shift and this quarterback says he's one on one and my guy's better than your guy. I mean, and, and mind you, everything still comes off the run game. Then I have a last play at the end where we do a power run. You can do zone run, you can do gap scheme runs, but we run the ball a lot and we use different ways to do this. So, and these are just ideals, guys. You you can do them your way. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to give you kind of what I've learned over the years. And so here's another one I really like. Now, we're using the jet sweep 
right? There is no motion out. Now it's click, jet sweep. If these guys follow, pull, dump, because we already have the screen open. You're like, oh, well, he's left a one-on-one. Yeah, though they follow, and he that's why he is taught to reach on that one. On the going towards the jet, he's taught to reach that tackle. All right. Or the tight end, you know, we you can flip flop the rules on that one. Not really a big rule change. It's just something what it is. And then this guy, uh, the wide receiver, of course, sometimes we stick the guy way out here and we've been known to throw it from this. So, you know, we like spacing. It's what we work on and we're two feet in or we can tighten up the guy. We can put him as two tight end set. Right. You can do it on different formations. So right away, he's taught blocking. Hey, if you're a receiver or you're anyone in this offense, running back, tight end, and you block because you love your teammates. And if you don't, you won't be out there, right? Because if you want the ball, you got to help your buddies get their plays too. Don't wait. So that's this just sweep right here. He's taught to read that right away. And he's only got two steps. It's one, two. And if these guys fly, drop, dump. If if these guys just sit, right? Because they were trying to read, because we've ran. You know, we have one where we run this play and this guy, you know, he can go block and we pull a guy up. You know, we have different blocking schemes. So maybe there's we're waiting to see Reed catch them on their flat feet and then he can just give or, you know, drop back to dump because we're trying to create numbers, man. It, it numbers game. And some guys are going to try to false key you. That's fine. Sometimes we'll just call jet. We'll just call um like for us the Michigan jet. Or, or, you know, just give off the jet and let's see what happens. Let's live with it. We're using their momentum against them, and, and you can false key us all day, and that's fine. But when these guys get really good at it, it's really a pain in the butt. Um, so that's another way we use it to get the the why, the screen we want, because we really do love the screen game. And we want these guys flying. We want them flying. That's because, you know, we do throw the ball out of it, too. So we want – the minute we see they're over-aggressive and he's going to chip him, why is he chipping him? So he doesn't get a free run. We want him to come down, get chipped, and then have to redirect. And by that time, this guy's got the ball, and he's going up the sideline. These guys will be tailbacks, too. Tailback, tight ends, hybrids. You know, that's what I love about this formation. I can put anyone back here Um, that's, you know, good runners. Um, So then I'm going to show you this one, too. So now this is – um. It's not the tight end screen per se. It will be the tight end handoff, our hybrid handoff. And our tight ends are, if he's a true tight end, then he won't really be in the backfield, right? He'll be where the Z is and, our, you know, we'll have double tight end set or we'll have him out here spread out wide. But this guy's a hybrid guy. We call him a tight end, um, H-back type of guy. So now we, we just put the motion away and he's going to do a counter step. Boom. Wait for the pull. Now, if you're zone blocking, that's different. I've zone blocked in the past. You got to know your personnel, of course. And we zone block this year. I love um power. You know, I love to run that. But at the same time, down block power through it. But at the same time, I got to go with my personnel. So like, we just zone block. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't matter. Still add that counter step in or you take out the counter step. But the, the point is the motion is what we're what's triggered. And this guy is our guy again. If he lines up down here already, we know that we can have a hey, three, four yards. Good for me. This guy's going to have to redirect himself. And we have a play that if he shoots in, trust me, this it, it's going to be a pass play. We're going to we're going to figure it out. And instead of down, you know, it will be a pass play out of it. We we, we game film stuff. But we also want to stick to the run. Even if you're getting three or four yards of carry, that's still something we like to do. So I don't mind you. And you're like, oh, the numbers. Well, the numbers are we're kicking, we're down block, down block, down, block, kicking this guy, getting up there, getting our three or four. This guy's gonna stick his nose. I maybe my man right here, you know, this is usually a corner. Let's see how good you tackle. And this guy's supposed to be the middle backer. Well, we're gonna be one on one or one on two, but this guy's gonna be about here by the time. And if he starts out here already, we have a check out of this. We have a check already. You know, we're playing these two against ourselves. How can you do it in the high school level? More formations, less plays. More identification, less plays. That's how we do it. Um, it's just that simple. Coming in for a blitz, you know, I've had guys kind of drop in, drop out, drop. Well, we're still going to win the ball. And if we, if you get caught up in the wash because you're being, you're trying to fake us out, boop, this guy blitz off the edge. Cool. His step, this hits fast. Um, and then the other key element over here is 
the motion on screen that you can see. If this guy decides he's going to come down, if this guy decides he's going to be, you know, if he's here to here, they're taught to split the field. There it is. Just throw it. Pull, click, pull, and throw. Get out here. These guys know you got to block. Maybe this guy kicks your butt. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe we get up the sideline. And this guy is our guy. And these two guys, man, they trigger a lot of the offense. Because the middle is going to stay in the middle. Now, if you want to start dropping him back, cool. We got trap. We got plays for that all day. You know, we got we got a lot of stuff. Again, because we do less formations, I mean, more formations and less plays, just out of different looks. That's how the RPO is for us is ran. Um, so, like I said, that's why we don't – will we fall for a false kick every once in a while? Yeah, that's when that's when I start telling my quarterback what to do. We, we call set plays to set up things. But – for the most part, no, they know what they're seeing because they run it so many times over and over and over again. So just trying to give you guys a little um, tidbit of what I what I do. Um, if you guys have any questions, please ask. Subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, thank you for the support, man, eight-man football. We're all brotherhood here. And if I can give you an idea, well, it happens. If you beat me with my ideal, it's going to happen. But it's football. We share ideals like crazy. Everyone beats everybody with something. Y'all have a good day.